to Delight. If you are new here, my name is Keisha and I make both bookish and Christian content here on my channel. If you are joining me for the live premiere, hello, I will be chatting with you in the live chat today. So I'm so happy that you are spending your Easter Sunday with me. Happy Resurrection Sunday, everyone. I hope that you all have had an amazing day. Hope that you had a great Easter service this morning if you attended. Um, and I'm glad that you're spending the afternoon with me. And it's funny that today's Easter <laughs> because I have some Easter eggs kind of throughout my life recently that I'm gonna be talking about today. So we'll just go ahead and get started. I had sat down to kind of lay out a script of sorts for Delight because I like to know what I'm gonna talk about going in so I don't veer off on too many tangents or anything like that. So I, I was just in prayer and I was sitting down thinking, okay, I'm going to talk about this. I can share this. I can do that. And <laughs> that is none of what I'm talking about today. And I'm so joyful for that. And I'm so thankful for that, that I get to share with you a little bit of a message today. And I am a note taker. For those of you who do not know, I love to write and I have not written very much in a while. I don't know if you guys can see Jovi over here, but she is begging for attention. Come here, baby. Are you going to be in this with me today? Are you going to be in this with me? <laughs> She's just not having it. Okay, lay down. Okay, sorry for the distraction. I know most of you enjoy seeing her anyways, but <laughs> anyways, so I had just been sitting down to prepare. Like I said, I love to write. I don't know how many of you know that, but I've always loved to write. And sometimes I feel like my words are said better in written word than in speaking because I can stumble over my words, get nervous. And I just don't feel like I have as much control of the situation. But the good thing about speaking about the Lord is that I don't need to have control over it because the Holy Spirit can speak in and through me. And so I'm just thankful for that because Keisha's not the greatest public speaker, but the Holy Spirit is. So I have been seeing different things in my life that have led me to think there's like, okay, this will be like a good theme for the light today. So some things that I've been thinking about are just like slowing down, being patient, having hope and remembering your purpose. So those are all things that I feel like have come up recently in my life. Some little Easter eggs that I feel like have come up that have made me come to this conclusion that these are different things in my life that I need to focus on or just kind of steep in this season are number one, Benson Boone has recently released a, sl a, a, slong, a song that is called Slow It Down. I know that is such a random thing, but the Lord can speak to you through anything. Of course, his primary source of like communication with us is through his written word, through the Bible, and also through prayer. But he can speak to you in your day-to-day -day life too. And sometimes it's through a new song by a new artist that you've recently discovered. Shout out to Jordan <laughs> because she has been listening to Benson Boone for much, much longer than I have. And now she has rubbed off on me and I am quite fond of Benson Boone myself. His new song, Slow It Down, is amazing. I don't think the man can write a bad song. So that song is kind of about slowing down. Um, also lately, I have just been trying to binge books a lot. I put books on my to be read each month that I expect to get through because I tell you all that I'm gonna read these books and so I know you you know, wanna know what I think about them so I feel like I have to stick to my TBR. So I binge books oftentimes. I want instant gratification too, because not only am I binging books, but if I start reading a book and it's not initially grabbing my attention, I'm not finishing it or putting it aside or just feeling like, what is wrong with me? I can't read. I'm wanting this instant gratification, which is not often something that happens in our lives. Also, I'm not really giving things a chance. Like I said, books, songs, which we'll get, that, we'll get to that in a second. Um, and also Bible time. It is really, really tough sometimes to just be obedient and to be diligent in spending time with the Lord and in growing your relationship with Him. We are human beings. We are fickle and flaky and all of the things. And so sometimes it's just hard for us to say, this is what's good for me. I'm not doing this because I have to do it, but I'm doing this because I want to do this. And sometimes we want to want to do things, but we don't always do it. But a good, good friend of mine has told me that Sometimes desire follows obedience. So just sitting down and making time for the Lord, like he will reward that in time. It may not be instant gratification, but that joy will come. Another thing that I wanted to bring up because I also am really interested in this new book. I saw where Faith Chang is coming out with a book on April 1st 
called Peace Over Perfection, which I don't know if any of you out there are perfectionists like I am, but that is a constant struggle in my life, in my faith journey, and my job, and my role as a wife, and a friend, and a lot of different areas. I am just a perfectionist. And so when I saw this book coming out and a few of my bookstagram friends raving about it, I was like, I need to add this to my to be read list. So I added that and I thought I would share that too. So all of these things kind of go hand in hand and we're going to wrap this back around to when I was saying that I'm not really giving things a chance because this message today that I'm going to share with you, because apparently I have a sermon, if you want to call it that, to share with you all today. Um, it's a simple message. It's one that you probably all already have heard or know. Um, I'm not, I'm hesitant to call it a sermon because I'm not going to be speaking scripture out today. I mean, I am, but just not in the words. I'll pop them up on the screen as they apply, but I'm just kind of talking about what God has been showing me. I don't want you guys to come here expecting a Bible scholar to just give you all this sermon information. This is a real talk Jesus chat, like you're chatting with a friend. This doesn't have to be like you're sitting down with somebody who knows more than you because I promise you I do not. <laughs> and yeah, it's not about that. So I just want you to feel like you're talking to a friend. We're having real honest conversations here. And that is where I want to go with this today. So I was getting ready, I don't know, a few days ago, a week ago, whenever it was. And I've learned recently that Apple Music has this feature where if you've listened to certain artists, then you can go, they have like a station, I think it's in Listen Now or something. Sometimes they'll say, um, like, here's a station for, you know, you like, I think it was like, you like Amanda Cook and Stephanie Gretzinger, listen to this, because um, I listen to them a lot. And so I played that station, and the first song that came on, I don't know if you guys ever do this or not, but sometimes you just hear a melody, and you're like, I'm not really jiving with that. Let me just skip. And I started to skip this song. I didn't know what it was or anything. I just wasn't really, I didn't like the melody of it, and sometimes that's the initial draw. But Sometimes you gotta stay for the lyrics. Sometimes you have to stay for the message. So I started to change the song and I saw what the song was called. It was called By Your Spirit by Influence Music and Kim Walker Smith. Those are two band slash artists that I've listened to before, but I'd never heard the song By Your Spirit. And I thought, okay, let me actually just slow down, be patient. Um, the melody did not initially draw me in. Let me just listen. And so I have this go, go, go mentality. And in that, Sometimes I ignore or miss things that may be good because they don't initially grab my attention. And I was like, this is one of those moments where I saw that in myself and I thought there could be something that comes of this. There could be nothing that comes of this. But lo and behold, this one thought, this one choice to be patient and be present and listen gave me this whole big spiel that I'm about to tell you. So um, because I chose patience, I was able to hear a message. And I'm going to share that with you today. Like I said, I write a lot. I take a lot of notes. So I am going to be reading off of my notes some just because I want to keep myself on track. And also sometimes, like I said, my written word sounds better than my spoken. But this is kind of what I heard from this song. And I don't have the lyrics to the song to read out to you, but I hope that encourages you to go and look this song up. Again, it's called By Your Spirit by Influence Music and Kim Walker Smith. So as I was listening to this song, this is what I feel like the Lord started speaking to my heart. We live in a world where we are constantly bombarded with propaganda about self-love, self-empowerment, finding your inner strength, believing you are enough, and doing all of these things by ourselves independently. And <laughs> I mean, honestly, people eat it up. I've eaten it up. You may have eaten it up. We eat this up because it makes us feel good. It makes us think, I've got this. I can do this. You know, sometimes this is tough, but I just got to get in touch with my inner self. I've got to find my inner strength. We eat it up. But why do we eat this up? Because we're hungry. We're hungry for somebody to tell us that we've got this, that we can do it, that we're enough. We're hungry for recognition, for credit, for somebody to be proud of us. And we're hungry, I think, for much more than that. We're hungry for satisfaction. Um, perfectionism is one of those things where you pursue and pursue and pursue perfection because you want everything to be right. You are looking for satisfaction in whatever you're trying to perfect. And all of this can put a lot of pressure on a person. So while we have this mindset thinking all of these things are good, this is uplifting, 
it actually puts a lot of pressure on us because we're constantly striving instead of thriving with the bread of life that has already been freely given to us. So that bread of life can satisfy our hunger and our every need. And that bread of life is Jesus Christ. We are crafting this narrative that freedom looks like bondage to self. When freedom is in fact found in the realization that we can't do this on our own. Do you know that that itching, that burning desire in your heart for community, to feel like you're a part of something, to feel like you belong, that desire to belong. Some of you may be here if you are coming here from the booktube community, if you are a book lover like I am, there's a huge sense of community in Bookstagram and booktube. It is a huge online book community. And there is a sense of belonging there. You feel like you found your people, you feel like you fit. Um, but a lot of times in life, even if we fit in different places, there's still that, that thing inside of us that just wants and yearns to belong somewhere. But do you know where that comes from? Let me tell you. Before I dig deep into this, I do want to say if you are here and you are someone who maybe is not a Christian or a believer, that is totally fine. I hope that you get encouragement here today too. I want to say this just from a perspective of science also. Um, some of you may be familiar with Brene Brown. I adore her. She is a professor, a researcher, a social worker. I know her more or less as an author who has spent 20 plus years studying basically human psychology. She studied, studied courage, vulnerability, shame, empathy. And Brene Brown once said that the core desire of every human being is to be or feel connected. So this is coming not only from scripture, which I'm about to reference, but also coming from a place of science and study in psychology that we have this innate desire to belong. If we go back to the beginning, back to the Garden of Eden, back in Genesis, back when God created Adam and Eve, we see that we were created for one sole purpose, and that is for relationship with God. God created man to have relationship with us, to have relationship with himself, because we were created in his image. And so God created Adam. But even still, God didn't see it fit that we only do life with him, but with other humans. So he created Eve. So we were quite literally created for community, to belong, to feel like we fit somewhere. So why do we think that we were meant to do this life alone? Why do we value independence so much when we were created for more? Why do we try to do this life on our own? Why do we value self so much? It's not by our power, by our strength, by ourselves that we walk through this life and do all of these things, but by his spirit. And that is what this song was speaking to me is I sit here every day and I strive and I strive and I strive instead of thriving with Holy Spirit who has been given to me by by God, by Jesus, and by what he did to restore relationship with God. Because you see, we were created for this relationship, but as you all probably know, we chose sin. Man was given free will, man was given a choice, and the choice that we unfortunately made led to sin entering into the world. And because of that, the relationship between man and God was broken. If you want to know what the whole story of the Bible is, as in a nutshell, it is God getting back his children. It is a story of a father being reunited with his children, with that relationship. It is a story of how he tried over and over and over again and ultimately sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins in order to store, restore us to right relationship with our heavenly father. That is why we're here. And we don't walk through this life alone. We weren't meant to walk through this life alone. We weren't meant to try to get in touch with our inner self and do everything on our own and build ourselves up and do all these things. But it's by the Holy Spirit that we do this. The Holy Spirit living and dwelling inside of us. So when you sit there in your funk, in your rut, in your slump, thinking, I can't do this. I'm not enough. Praise the Lord. 
Praise God that I am not enough. I was not meant to be. And when you realize that, when you sit back and you stop trying to people please, you stop trying to get your life together. I'm not saying don't try a little bit. I'm not saying you're, you know, you don't try to make good decisions and good choices in your life. But when you get in those spots where you're like, I just can't do this. I can't do anything right. I'm not enough. That's because that burden isn't yours to bear. It's not yours to carry. The Lord says, cast your cares and your anxieties upon me because I care for you. It is not expected of you to do this alone. How freeing is it to take that pressure off yourself? Be honest with yourself right now. Is it worth it for you to sit here and put this pressure on yourself to do it all on your own? Or is it that much more freeing to know that you don't have to and to know that, that all that's asked of us is to have faith as small as a mustard seed? Do you know how big a mustard seed is? If I can find a picture on Google or anything, I'll pop it up on the screen for a comparison. Mustard seeds are tea tiny, okay? You only have to have faith as small as a mustard seed. Let's squash this idea that we have to have it all together, that we have to hurry to get it all done because girl, I feel you. I've been there. I try to get it all done. And sometimes it's not possible. Let's squash perfectionism and instead be patient, be present, slow down and bask in all that the Lord has done and is continuing to do in and through us. That is what I have for you today. That is the fire that was lit under my butt this week for, for the Lord and to share with you and finding joy in the fact that we're not enough and that we don't have to do this alone and that by his spirit, we can walk through this life and we can find joy. We can find peace. We can be present. We can share love. We can do all of these things, not of our own accord, but by his spirit. And I'm just saying there's a lot of freedom in that. And I feel so much freedom in knowing that. I hope that somebody out there, whether or not this was just something that the Lord needed to, you know, knock on my head, on my little hard head and give me a wake up call for, or maybe one of you out there needed this message today. I hope that it encouraged you and it touched you and that you know that you're not alone, that the Lord is with you, that the Holy Spirit dwells inside of you and that you can pray to the Lord. And prayer doesn't have to look like just sitting down one time and talking to God. You can talk to him throughout your whole entire day. You are never alone. But I hope that you also know that you can find community right here. You can find community with me or with other people in this community. You can find community in your area, in your church. You are not doing life alone and you were not meant to. Additionally, I wanted to add some extra content to this series. I may not always remember to do this. But in this episode, I did link down in the description a couple of other resources that you can visit um, if you are looking for more Christian content, encouragement, um, different Christian reads or just reads in general. I have three shout outs that I want to give um, for links in the description below. The first one is from Lauren Jean. So some of you may know her as Lauren Love Reads. She's recently come back to YouTube under the name Lauren Jean. And she recently posted a vlog where she was reading this book by Frank Peretti called This Present Darkness. A lot of her video is going to talk about spiritual warfare. So if that is something you're interested in or would like to learn more about, Lauren does a really great job of explaining that. And also it's steeped in scripture. She does pop up scripture to let you know kind of where she's getting things from as she's talking with you through this and as she's referencing the book. But also if you love bookish content, she does some book shopping in this vlog as well. So I highly recommend checking out Lauren's video. I also wanted to highlight Caitlin from Pride and Paperbacks video where she shared her testimony. If you don't happen to already follow Caitlin, you absolutely should. She took a little bit of hiatus from YouTube last year because she had some health concerns and she shares this story with us and it is probably going to bring you to tears. So I would encourage you to grab some tissues, but I just feel like the Lord is using, he does. The Lord uses our testimonies and our stories, not only to encourage us, not only for us to see our need for him and to see that he's there for us and that we are not alone, but also to encourage others in our walk with God and our faith. So I highly encourage you to check out Caitlin's testimony video if you haven't heard that already. And then lastly, Amanda from Book Lover Amanda recently released her Easter faith chat. Now, at the time that I'm recording this video, I have not watched this yet, but I know it's going to be good. 
It actually isn't even out yet. I just know she's got it scheduled. And so I'm like, oh, this is something I need to mention. Amanda has great content on her channel. If you are looking for good Christian clean reads, especially romance, she reads a lot of that. So if you're looking for that kind of content, definitely check out her channel. So I did just want to highlight these ladies because they had some recent good Christian content, but also bookish content that has come out lately. So definitely wanted to highlight them. I will try to highlight different people every time that I'm on here. Sometimes it may be the same people because it's just going to depend on who I see and what types of videos they have out. Um, other people that I can definitely shout out if you want more Christian and bookish content is Jordan from Jordan Elaine, Oshina from Oshina Gotta Read Them All, Bethany from Bethany's Bookshelf, Krista from Books and Jams. I'm sure I'm leaving a ton of people out, but there are so many out there. Chantel from Chantel Reads All Day. Um, I will try to link all of these down below so you guys can check out their channels. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pray us out for the day. I hope that you all had a wonderful afternoon spent with me and the Lord. And yeah, let's just go ahead and pray if you will bow with me. Father God, I just thank you, Lord, for today. I thank you that it is Resurrection Sunday. I thank you that you sent your son Jesus to die for our sins, to restore our relationship with you, Lord. God, we constantly mess up over and over and over again. And sometimes we focus so much on those broken pieces that we miss that you sent your son to restore that, that we don't have to focus on. We don't have to think about all these broken pieces of us because, Lord, you are making something beautiful out of us. You have restored this relationship with yourself through your son, Jesus. You have restored our relationship with you. And God, I just pray today that we feel that, that we sense your presence with us today, Lord, that we just would know in our heart of hearts that we are not alone in this life, that we are not walking through life alone. We don't have to do this alone, that God, you are with us every step of the way, that you are not disappointed in us. You are not an angry God, but you are a loving and caring father. And Lord, you look down upon your children with love and with joy. God, I pray that you would just be with us as we go into this new week, Lord, that you would continue to reveal yourself to us through your word, through our diligence in prayer and spending time with you, Lord, and through little Easter eggs that you may just place in our life as you are trying to teach us things as we walk through our day to day. And God, I thank you for this platform and just being able to have community with people and be able to not only share our hobbies, our love of books, but to share our faith together, Lord. And I pray today that this message just touch someone. I pray that your Holy Spirit would just fall on the hearts of those that need this message today, that you would soften hardened hearts, that you would open ears that are deaf, God, that you would just allow us to hear what you have for us today. And God, I pray that you continue to grow this community, to grow our faith with each other, that we could still encourage each other and just spur each other on as we just continue in this life together, Lord. And God, I just thank you so much for putting on my heart to start delight. And I just pray that this is done all for your glory, Lord, and not for mine, not for anything that I can do, not for anything that I, you know, could do or, or be in this life, Lord, but that when people look at me, they wouldn't see Keisha, but they would see Jesus and they would see you, Lord. I pray that no matter what comes out of my mouth, I pray it is of you. I pray that my walk with throughout my life is of you. And God, I pray that each one of us represent you well every day to the best of our abilities. Um, with the guidance of your Holy Spirit. God, I thank you so much. In Jesus' name. When I can't see you leave me When I can't hear